Malicious WhatsApp hacks are making news again this week, with more users tricked into surrendering their accounts to attackers who then target their contacts with malware and financial scams. WhatsApp is not as secure as you might think, but it does offer safeguards to stop your account being hijacked this way. You need to change your settings, and you should do that today. This WhatsApp hack relies on social engineering, you're tricked into sharing an SMS code that's sent to your phone with an attacker using an already hijacked account belonging to one of your friends. This enables the attacker to take over your account as well. Getting the account back can take serious time and effort. The attackers know how to make it difficult by adding extra security settings to confuse and delay the process. You can protect against this. You can also protect against other security weaknesses in your WhatsApp app by changing some of your settings. WhatsApp should be more secure, it is getting the balance of security and functionality wrong. As Joel Wallenstrom, CEO of Uber Secure WhatsApp rival Wicker, told me, WhatsApp is designed for consumer use, and like other consumer products, security takes a back seat to fun. If you are a consumer who wants to take privacy more seriously, then try to avoid products from companies who are monetizing end-user data. But the reality is that WhatsApp wins out for the size of its user base and its simplicity. It has become the default SMS replacement for many of us. Despite its shortcomings, Wallenstrom describes WhatsApp as a huge step up from SMS, having billions of users more protected on WhatsApp is good for the world but you can make it a lot safer and more secure than it comes by default. Here are three settings that you must change and one that you can change if you want to be especially secure. Let's start with that SMS account takeover hack. WhatsApp provides two-step verification that lets you enter a six-digit code into your app. This is different to the code that WhatsApp sends by SMS when you install and register the app on a new phone. Even if an attacker gets hold of that WhatsApp SMS to register your account on their phone, they will fail to complete the hijack without knowing your two-step verification code. Everyone using WhatsApp must use this security setting. I can't stress that enough. I am inundated with emails from users who have found my articles on WhatsApp hacks after falling victim. WhatsApp should really make this mandatory in the same way as two-factor authentication is now mandatory with many online backing other financial apps. In WhatsApp, go to Settings, Account and you will see the two-step verification option. You can set the PIN and an email address to use as a backup if you ever forget that PIN. Obviously, never share that PIN with anyone. Next, we come to WhatsApp's perilous handling of photos and videos, 